Okay, starting a new clip. I don't know if we're going to get any joy, but at least I'm here for you, you know. At least once we've done it this year, we can say, well, no, there's definitely no bananas there, you know, because we know they're definitely growing down at Mount Compass, same sort of sunnage. We definitely know how wet it is down, or was down at Mount Compass. We know it dries out fairly quickly as we get into the new year. So, uh, and there's a blue marker. It would be nice to have like a international system of markers so you knew exactly what that meant. But you can see here's the tea tree. And it's fairly getting fairly humid now on, on, on down low. I can feel it. It's coming up against my face. So you can actually feel the moisture coming off the ground. Oh pink pink form. Yeah, if I remember rightly, it went down through here. You can see all these. Here's the new ripening pods. That's where the shot, surely. Look how beautiful they are. Those red pods compared to the old ones. There. So, uh, you see they haven't quite gone red yet. I mean, see, that's something you wouldn't see on a herbarium specimen sheet. So, you know, something comes back from Australia in the old days on a herbarium sheet. You've only got your painters, you know, your watercolour artists and your painters to, uh, usually one and the same person, to actually describe what they actually look like. And it's rather interesting, isn't it? Probably a rabbit hole, a rabbit warren. Another shot down there, high in the sky. But uh, yeah, probably time to uh, start a new card soon. Which, uh, we'll come through here. And we'll come down here. And I'll we'll find a way through here, I think, because it would be quick. I think if we can get down through here, we can get down on that bit we want to get down to can you see anything because I can't see anything at the moment I mean well that's I mean that's a good one for after to show that old rock there with you know I'll take two shots of there and there showing the uh, the dormant moss or dormiating moss on there Another good one for Ev. Okay. Well, this looks interesting. Peat and sand looks just damp enough to keep something alive, and that looks like it had water in it. And that looks like this was the stream. And we can follow it back, and it's bugger. We can actually follow it down the stream, I think. Down low for Rossi. <laughs> mm, scratching. Nice silver sand there though. Or silver silt. No, that's disappointing, that is. Not even a drip. A drip or a dribble. Oh, ah, truck. Nice. Oh, yeah, hey, it's Mount Bowl CFS 24. Oh, well, we'll take a shot of that. As I said, you know, if I was a firebug, why would I be photographing you, you know, as evidence, you know, that I'm here and you're here. But uh, anyway, I'll probably just take a photograph of my car or something. Fine, go ahead. Take all the photographs you want, mate. I'm here to, to look and are we in the right spot? I thought we went uh, right to the pool and there was a a glade? Surely this stuff hasn't all grown up in that time? No, surely not. Anyway, probably it's time to start the clip soon. Well, here's the back end of the pool. If anything was going to, you know, be hanging on and growing, surely.
it'd be round here somewhere, wouldn't it? Well, there's uh, some dead peltadas, they're pelties. You think there'd be the odd sprig or petio or something of, you know, bit of ice sticking up there, that nice, whatever it is, is it a silene or something? Well, that's tea tree, and this is almost like that stuff we found at um, the Knoll Conservation Park. Yeah. You can you can you can feel the moisture still in the ground. It's sort of coming up to you with like humidity. So uh, anyway, I think it's time to start a new clip and see what we can find over there. Go back to those whole that whole area. You never know. For some reason, it might not grow in the air we think it is. <laughs>